Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 30th. May 30th is the 150th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 151st in leap years, and there are 215 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is mastermind. As a noun, mastermind is someone who has exceptional intellectual ability and originality, a brilliant thinker with original ideas. As a verb, mastermind means to act as the leader of some complex plan or scheme. Yeah. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1536 when King Henry VIII, <laughs> yeah, Henry VIII again, <laughs> Henry VIII of England married Jane Seymour, a lady-in-waiting, to his first two wives. On May 30, 1631, the publication of the first French newspaper, Gazette de France. That newspaper was published for almost 300 years. It ceased publication in 1915. Now, we've touched on duels before, when Aaron Burr killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel. On May 30th, 1806, future U.S. President Andrew Jackson killed Charles Dickinson in a duel. And here's the story on that. Andrew Jackson had married a charming young woman named Rachel. Rachel was a divorcee, and for some reason, the busybodies of the day just insisted on making a big deal out of it. They spread rumors to the effect that she was a loose woman, promiscuous, or possibly had even been a prostitute. The controversy surrounding his marriage to Rachel remained a sore point for Jackson, who deeply resented attacks on his wife's honor. I gotta respect him for that. In May of 1806, Charles Dickinson published an attack on Jackson in the local newspaper, to which Jackson responded with a written challenge to a duel. Since Dickinson was considered an expert shot, Jackson decided that it would be best to let Dickinson turn and fire first, hoping that his aim would be spoiled in his quickness. And then Jackson would wait and take careful aim at Dickinson. And that is exactly the way it unfolded. Dickinson fired first, hitting Jackson in the chest. The bullet that struck Jackson was so close to his heart that it could not be removed. Under the rules of dueling, Dickinson had to remain still as Jackson took aim and shot and killed him. Tennesseans at the time found this outrageous and accused Jackson of being brutal and cold-blooded, and he became a social outcast. I guess he did move past that, though, because some 20 years later, he became the seventh president of the United States. On May 30th, 1842, a man named John Francis attempted to murder Queen Victoria as she drove down Constitution Hill in London with Prince Albert. On May 30th, 1854, the Kansas-Nebraska Act came law establishing the U.S. territories of Kansas and Nebraska. On May 30th, 1868, Decoration Day, the predecessor of the modern Memorial Day, was observed in the United States for the first time after a proclamation by John A. Logan, head of the Grand Army of the Republic, which was a veterans group. The first Indianapolis 500 race took place at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway on May 30th, 1911. Ray Haroun, Haroun, Haroun or Haroun, H-A-R-R-O-U-N, won in his Marmon Wasp, becoming the first winner of the 500-mile race. This is the birthday of American businessman Bob Evans, founder of the Bob Evans Restaurants. This company also owns Owens Country Sausage. Mr. Evans lived to the age of 89. The Lincoln Memorial was dedicated in Washington, D.C. on May 30, 1922. This is the birthday of the Irish actor Colm Meany, born May 30th, 1953. He's best known for playing Miles O'Brien in Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. This is the birthday of American author and illustrator Kevin Eastman, born May 30th, 1962. He is co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.
This is the birthday of Dominican American baseball player and coach Manny Ramirez, born May 30th, 1972. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing. Feel free to share this video with others. Images are retrieved from Bing Images, either public domain or licensed free to use and share. I think the correct terminology is free to share and use. Our lovely outro music is Divine Life Society by Jesse Gallagher from YouTube Music Library, and there's a link to his channel in the show notes. Thank Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. grateful for editing. Just do the whole thing over, officially or unofficially. Okay, do that again. We'll do that in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up.